safety reminders after a passenger's leg became caught in a green line door. It happened weeks ago at Medford Tufts. The T says the doors didn't open because the operator shut down power to change the train's direction. Luckily, the uh, the woman um, who had her leg caught in the door was not injured seriously. I did speak to her after the event. On the red line in December, the T says a contractor's hand became stuck briefly while reaching out to catch a train. And two people had their backpack straps become stuck in red line doors. While those doors were functioning as a design and functioning the way they were built, uh, did not notice, you know, that type of thin um, backstrap. Uh, backpack strap. In 2022, a man was dragged to death when his arm was stuck in a red line door. Federal investigators say a mechanical problem caused that. In the latest incidents, the T says nobody was ever at risk of being dragged. The T says it's making things safer by installing cameras, mirrors, and technology. It's not just replacing red line cars, which we're going to be doing, but it's also uh, ensuring that the operators have clear direction. At the board meeting in Boston, the T also going over plans for a low income fare program. Tens of thousands could qualify for fares cut in half. Safe, reliable, more frequent transportation are all important to um, bringing back riders. Affordability is the other component of it. Now, the plan first needs to be approved by the T's board of directors. It could cost as much as $60 million and could go into effect as early as the spring, summertime. We're live here in Boston. Charmin's Kenny, WCVB News Center 5. Charm.